guys, today I'm gonna start the prep on the Supra here, starting with the rear bumper. That guy right there, I'm gonna start sanding it. I don't know if I'll get to prime it tonight, probably not, but I'm still gonna start sanding it. And these videos are probably gonna be all over the place. I don't know if I'm gonna upload a short video here, short video there, longer video here, or just like upload it in one big video, or we'll kind of figure out how it goes along. But I might set up a time lapse of me sanding on the bumper. If not, you know I'm just gonna start sanding on the bumper and fixing it, and we'll go from there. All right, so there we have it. I quickly hit it with 320, and then went over the spots I need to fill with 180. Yes, it looks terrible. Hose me in the comments. It's a little skim coat there since there's a lot of things. There's a few gouges in here and there. I might have to go back over that. You can see the gouges coming back out through. It's hardener shrinks when you put it on. So yeah, my body work was not great. Um, I'm out here in flip flops. So yeah. Right here is a nice gash in there, so I just filled it up. So I might have to let this dry for a while. It's only about 55 outside, so I don't think I'm going to be priming it tonight. But I wanted to throw some stuff and actually at least start on it tonight. So I'm going to go get some food now. Alright guys, this is a different night. Ignore the air compressor. I really wasn't going to film anything tonight. My back's killing me. I had an eh day at work. But I'm out here working on the bumper. Um, just using 180 on the DA just to get it down. Um, yeah, just sanding off the body filler and get it in primer. I'm gonna try to prime it tonight. It's not looking great out, so yeah. We'll see what happens. There goes the air compressor. We'll see what happens and we'll go from there. Sorry guys, I'm doing a terrible job of filming tonight, but. Um, so it begins, I got one coat on it, so I 320'd the whole thing, and then I went over with a red scuff pad, scuffed the whole thing. This primer acts different than the stuff we use at work. I have just, um, finished one 2K. I heard this is pretty good stuff, so it's pretty cheap, so I'm going to try it out. And then, yes, we use PPS, so I bought some for at home here. They're not super cheap. Yeah, this is my box of goodies. This is the best sandpaper ever. Extract, um, let me actually show you a piece. Yeah, it looks like that, but it lasts super long. That's some 320. I have some 400 down in there. Uh, some 180 sandpaper. Some etch primer, just a box of goodies. This is the body filler I'm using, which we also use at work. This stuff's great for small stuff. You don't want to go super uh, thick on this since it's a finishing putty. Yeah, it's my box of goodies. I'm just waiting for this to flash. And then probably put two, three more coats on. We usually do three coats at work, but as you can see, this, this bumper has seen some things. So probably gonna go quite a few coats on it. Hey guys, so I learned some important things tonight. I'm gonna need some more primer. I only bought this much, and yes, this is a pretty cheap Spanish one. I've heard good things from, from my friend though, Adam. And yeah, I'm going to need more since that's getting used quite a bit on the bumper. I'm going to set up a time lapse for the last coat I put. This is two right now, waiting for it to flash. I might do three or four since there, there was a lot of stuff on it. Figuring out how this stuff sprays is a lot different than the primer we use at work. Well, not a lot, but a bit different. Yeah, I'm gonna do three or four, try sand it down tomorrow night, which is Friday, then reprime it. I don't think I'll show any of that. I might just throw up this video tonight. I don't know, we'll uh, play how I feel, you know what I mean? All right, so I'm back out here today. Uh, I've been, you probably saw my other videos. I've been working on this. Got the bumpers off, um, so all the bumpers are off. Now, now it's Wednesday, the week, I have one more week. So I have the rest of this week. Wait, it's Tuesday, my bad. I don't know why I have stuck in my head that it's Wednesday. Um, today's Tuesday, uh, I have just over a week until I have to have this car ready to drive 
and go to the booth. So what that means is I'm going to be cranking on this every night when I get home from work. So tonight we're going to try to get the bumpers and primer. So that means I got to tear these down. So I'm, I'm going to actually spray all these bolts with PB blasters so that way they don't break. I don't necessarily want to put PB blaster on it. I'll have to wipe it all off, get it clean. And then I'm going to start fixing the front end and probably strip the hood mostly. So that way there's not any rock chips on it. But yeah, that's going to be my night. I want to film something so that way I know how to put this back together and you know how to put it back together. 8 mil nuts and this bracket holding the lip onto that. 10 mil in this bracket holding the lip up here. Okay, now we both know how to put it back together. Alright, so I'm saying down the bumpers. I'm not really doing time lapse or something because I'm using my phone to record and I can't have music or podcasts when I have time lapse going. I uh, 320 it and then the spots, spots I got to put body filler. It is deep scratches. Uh, I 180, then I made sure I got in and there. And this is all a beat crap with stone chips, so I 180 pretty much the whole thing. I'm gonna fill up the, the stone chips with body filler. Let it dry while that dries. I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna 320 it down and then second prime it. And that should be perfect. And then when I get to the point where I'm gonna paint it, I'll block it with uh, 400 and then wet sand with 600 and just uh, base right over that. All right, a little update. I've been out here for a while now. Got the headlight covers ready. I gotta etch the metal. That's ready for the next coat. These are ready to um, get scuffed down and primed. And I might call a night after that. I might start working on the hood. We'll see. All right, guys, here we go. This is coat number one of primer. This is the fifth coat primer for this bumper. I sanded it down. So I think I'm gonna put four on it tonight so that way I don't burn through anywhere. And yeah, i not happy about that, but I gotta run. Um, it'll sand down. <clears throat> Headlight cover's over there. I think what I'm gonna do is probably just clean this up tonight. I'm running out of primer, so I'm gonna get this done, clean up, and then come back here and start on the hood tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm gonna call that for the first episode. Um, so this is prim uh, coat of primer number two. So I ran out of primer, so I have enough for one more coat. So that bumper right there will have seven coats of primer. Those right now will have two. So as soon as I'm done out here tonight, I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna go order a gallon of primer off Amazon. So this is going to be the cheapest. Hopefully it will get here really soon. If it doesn't get here soon enough, I will probably just go to the parts store and buy some more. So tomorrow, that's going to stay off the car for now. Uh, tomorrow, since I don't have any primer, I'm going to sand those down. So they're ready for second primer. And then come over here and... Uh, start on um, I have the lights off so that way the air compressor doesn't trip the breaker um, start stripping the hood and start working on the fenders and my hope is to get this whole front clip ready for primer or in primer it depends on like I said if I just decide to get primer from the parts store or I wait till from Amazon so that's my plan for that uh, I'm just going to end this one here. I think I have a good few clips of the front and rear bumper. And if you missed the videos, there's two separate videos on how to remove the front and rear bumper. There's two separate videos each. I figured I'd throw them out because there's not much information on it. I want to try to help you guys out. I know at least one person helped out. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the videos, please keep watching and thank you for support. Have a good one.